Hi Louise, it's Barry Bright Insight. Just wanted to come on and sort of share some reflections about the, um, well, the energies of this time. You know, as if you follow me, you'll know I like to do kind of energy updates. Um, but it's kind of in response really to what happened last night. And um, I'm kind of under the impression that this was quite widespread across the globe. Um, but obviously we had you know, following the huge um, sort of solar flares, solar activity and geomagnetic storm, we were blessed with um, the most incredible display of the northern lights or the um, aurora borealis. And, you know, this is not something certainly where I live that happens often. That's only about the second or third time um, this year. I'm quite south in the UK and um, that we have been able to see it. And yes, admittedly, you know, it's not that easy to see with the naked eye, although I could see colours in the sky. And then obviously when you turn the camera on, um, it is just like, wow. Um, and I shared some of the pictures on my Facebook and Instagram um, pages today. But it really got me thinking um, because, you know, for me, it was absolutely magical you know this is something that has been on my bucket list you know I know over my lifetime you know it, there was always this kind of you know you have to go somewhere like Iceland or Norway or you know somewhere in the kind of the very far north to be able to see them and even then you know it's not guaranteed it was like sort of chasing rainbows almost something magical that you know was just um yeah, just beyond kind of com com comprehension um, in terms of just the beauty of it um, and how magical they are and how fortunate you are to be able to catch a glimpse. And now, you know, we're at this point where, you know, I could go out in my back garden last night and see them and it was absolutely mesmerising. And, you know, I kind of made a comment um on my own Facebook page last night. I didn't share any pictures at that, that time, but you know, that I knew when I woke up this morning, my entire sort of um, social media feed was just gonna be a blanket of pink and green and purples and reds. And, you know, I haven't been disappointed. There've been so many stunning, stunning pictures of these this beautiful phenomena, which, you know, hopefully is going to happen again. I know the solar flares are still very active, so we may, you know, be lucky to see it again tonight um, over the weekend. And, um, you know, it might become almost something that, you know, is like normal for us. Um, but yeah, it, it struck me, obviously, you know, we are having this amazing um, opportunity to see something that, you know, was only really part of, um, I guess, fairy tales for, for most of us. Not everyone, you know, can get on a plane and go to Iceland or, you know, some, some of the places in the in the planet where, you know, it is more common and natural to see them. Um so, you know, that in itself is a big, is a pure gift. But the fact that so many people are looking up at the sky, you know, being mesmerized by the beautiful colors, um, it's incredibly heart opening. And the colors last night, the greens and the pinks, of course, are all the colors that we associate with the heart chakra. And the fact that this happened widespread across the planet on the 10th of October in the 1010 portal it makes it even more magical. Um, and it really felt, you know, I am still buzzing today. And when I look at the pictures, I just feel just so elated, so uplifted just to see those beautiful images um, in the sky. And I know, you know, so many people are like, just like in awe, you know, tears of joy, just, yeah, absolutely. I keep using the word magical, but it's hard to kind of call it anything but that. Um, so, you know, it kind of, for me, it reflects, you know, this huge shift in consciousness that, you know, we are being given this opportunity to see the beauty that is around us that has perhaps been hidden, some sort of metaphors, symbolism there, um, you know, the colours as well, as I said, with the chakra um, associations seems really, really relevant. Um, and the fact that, you know, everybody is looking up at the sky, you know, and the, and the stars 
and the vastness as we do so it it takes us out of our sort of more physical reality you know and it is so breathtaking and um, to see that expanse of sky you know it, it's one of the reasons that I'm all so drawn to the sky because it makes me really realize that you know it, it's not all just about this human sort of physical lifetime and experience there is so much more out there and you know the focus on the sky and the colors and the messages and the upgrades that are coming through the lights and that heart consciousness and that expansion you know again is really helping us at a collective level to really you know explore and go beyond and i just love that um also interesting i've seen a couple of posts on social media that people are suggesting that you know it is not um well, it might be sort of engineered, um, you know, geomagnetic engineering, um, that thing beginning with H, be ending with a P. Um, yeah, and again, I just thought, well, that's really interesting in itself, isn't it? Because it's obvious, you know, there will always be, you know, as we increase in light, there will always be the opposite expression, the darkness, the negativity, trying to kind of make itself known, trying to step forward, trying to sort of, you know, <laughs> say, look, I'm here as well, you know, don't forget about me type thing. And obviously, as the light increases, you know, we're seeing even more darkness and more shadow come to light to be seen to be exposed. And, you know, I talked about that earlier in the week, but sometimes it's quite easy to get carried away and distracted and go down the rabbit hole and what you see and what you find out is not particularly pleasant and it can be really unsettling it can affect your frequency but it's about sort of being able to stand in that place where you know yes you are in awe of the light you are absorbed by the light but you are also not in denial of the shadow and the dark because that is a valid part of our experience and we can't shut it out we can't ignore it so I just thought it's really interesting you know when people are making comments like that almost trying to shut down the light and say oh no 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 you've got to think about you know th this other sort of more darker more sinister um aspect of it and you know I'm not saying that that isn't possible I don't know enough about these things but what I, I'm just drawn to and want to really focus on and highlight is how much um, it is elevating us as a collective and how you know so many people you know and so many posts have been like oh it was on my bucket list I wanted to see it oh my god it was so beautiful I can't believe it I can't believe it and to stand in that state of like just complete like <gasps> joy and you know yeah heightened emotion it's just so beautiful and you know I really hope that we get to see them again and that they do become you know part of our regular experience and it just really does make you aware you know that there is so much more to our world to our planet and you know this beauty that is being um, seen, whether that's coming through, you know, <laughs> manipulated um, tactics, I don't know. And, you know, to be honest, I feel like it doesn't really matter at this point um, because it's awaking us at our, our hearts. It's awaking our consciousness. It's, um, you know, shifting us up a gear. And that is exactly where we need to go and where we need to be sort of focusing on. So, um, yeah. And obviously, you know, just from the point of view, it's the 11th of October today. We've got a really busy couple of days coming up with Pluto stationing direct, which is huge. Um, you know, and that is going to be sort of later on tonight, um, into the early hours of the morning for the UK. Um, we've also got Jupiter is sextile Chiron. So, you know, this is really expanding our potential to heal, which is really beautiful. We're building up to the full moon. I'm going to be doing sharing a video about that very soon. I've just noticed that um, my Zoom recording just come through, which needs editing. Um, and then, you know, we're going to have Mercury going into Scorpio tomorrow on Sunday. Um, so again, you know, very healing energy, potentially having to sort of face up to some darker um ideas and truths but ultimately to help us heal and um you know sun is going to oppose chiron on sunday too which is really shining a light on you know the parts of us that are wounded the parts of us that are broken and i was getting this beautiful image of that you know that um 
sort of that sculpture where there's cracks in this human form and the light is shining out from the cracks and it really feels that you know at this time the cracks are getting wider and wider and wider and you know just so much light is coming through until you know the cracks are literally going to burst open and there's just a tsunami of light that was the image I was getting and it was really really beautiful so you know I always think you know there is when we're working with Chiron it's very painful there's very deep wounds you know and it, it can be excruciating but with Chiron we get purpose for the pain because we can take our pain and use it to help and heal other people so it's just such a beautiful um sort of energy to work with and it's one that I'm always really deeply drawn to um so yeah I mean yeah there's always so much to say so much going on in the astrology and it's just like wow um so yeah <laughs> but I just wanted to come on and share that perspective because it was magical, absolutely magical. And I'm so blessed to have seen it. And, you know, I just hope that <clears throat> for anybody, you know, who has seen them, I'm guessing you never get tired of it. <laughs> My phone is going to be full of photos. Um, yeah, I can see that happening if we keep, if we keep, if we keep getting them. But, um, yeah, just so grateful to have had that experience. So I will leave it there. Much love to all of you. And I'll see you soon.